Hey everybody, happy uh, Saturday. Hope you're doing well. It is July 29th, 2023. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing great. I'm doing awesome. We had a little storm, rainstorm pass through. It's all good. Um, popping on a little bit earlier than usual. I'm going to uh, work on this sketch, this watercolor I started last night. I just want to add some details with basically, basically ink. And I'm using a new pen that I just got today from Staples. It's a Sharpie gel pen. How cool is this? Metal barrel. Love the color. It's like a copperish color. Got two of them in a pack. Um, and I love the the darkness of this ink. It's really cool. So it's like a regular Sharpie marker. It's permanent ink. Um, so if I was to go over this with water, it should not bleed. So how cool is that? It's always fun. I love geeking out on new pens, new colors, new materials. It's always so fun. Let me know how you guys are doing. I see Cameron's in the house. Cameron, good to see you. Hope all is well. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you next week. Um, yeah, sorry today did not work out. But it's always great seeing you. We'll definitely catch up next week. So cool. D-Ray, long time. How are you? Hope all is well in D-Ray land. Um, it's always great seeing you in the house. Welcome. Linda H is on. Hey, Linda H, how are you? Hope you're having a good weekend. Y yeah, man. I'm having a good weekend. It's been kind of... Um, it's good. Crazy. A lot of things going on. Good things. But just busy, busy and uh, no complaints. But I hope you guys are having a great weekend as well. Um, awesome new pen. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I have the packaging. I'll, I'll show you guys. I think I threw it in the bin over here. I'll grab it. D-Ray says, uh, we, had some we had storms too. A lot of thunder and lightning. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't get the thunder and lightning today. We just got very, very short, heavy rainfall. So we lucked out with that. Um, so... I'm just adding some line work to this watercolor we started last night and you can see when I start just throwing on some simple lines it's really just taking a bit of a character right uh, I wanted to show some kind of stone on these buildings so I have stone work here um, for the windows really the windows are just black areas of rectangles I'm not sketching the entire window this isn't meant to be an architectural detail drawing it's just to capture a loose, quick sketch and get some character on here. And this is kind of all from my imagination. -y. I don't know if that's a word. My imagination. But let me know who, where you're watching from, guys. Uh, it's always great to see you guys popping on. Sorry if you hear some dinging in the background. I forgot to turn my notifications off. It's all groovy. So this is um, watercolor. So if you're just joining us, I started this last night. And I was waiting for it to dry to come back. Let me show you guys how this dried. And if I'm talking really fast, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. One of the things I need to learn about when I present is slowing down. So feel free in the chat to be like, yo, dude, slow down. I just get so excited. Um, I love these colors. These are watercolors on here. So I just, you know, watercolors right from my Windsor Newton palette here. And um, I love hard edges. Let's talk a little bit. Hard edges are like right here. Boom, I love that. Um, what else do I love about this? Here you can see this turquoise or aqua. And I really just layered it thick on the brush and just kind of threw it on there. Um, so here's the same color, but you can see it's very watered down. It's more transparent. Here I just kind of thickened it up to draw with it. Uh, I am loving the colors on this, this these reds, yellows, oranges. Sig magnifique. That's the magic of watercolor. You never know what's going to happen. And I love it. It inspires me. It keeps me going. It's like, how can I riff off of what I see here? we got this really cool white space that I'm leaving on this building. We'll see what happens to it. But yeah, it's uh, you guys are awesome. Hey, Karen's in the house. Karen, great to see you. Awesome. Linda says, we had a wicked storm go through about 1.5 hours ago, but done now. I am so glad the storm is done. 
So uh, Chip was watching last night, and he said this looked like, oh man, I'm going to forget, a Scandinavian hill town or something. Uh, sorry, Swiss, maybe a Swiss hill town. So I was kind of just riffing off that idea, and I wanted to show some uh, nice stonework on these buildings. And notice I'm not sketching every stone on here, right? Boom. I'm just showing a few here and there just to indicate some materials, some texture on here. You got this kind of funky roof. I like wonkiness, so I'm gonna get some wonky curves going on, which is awesome. Um, you know, let's just sketch. Notice for the roofs or the roofs, the shingles. Maybe these are slate stone, slate roofs on here. Roofs, roofs, roughs, however you want to say it. And I'm not showing every single one. I'm just, you know, just adding popping on some lines here and there just to give it some character. This I picture being a big stone tower, so let's just kind of sketch some stonework on here. By the way, this Sharpie gel pen is awesome. The ink glides on so nicely. Um, I'm gonna, sh let me show you guys a sketch I did today. I did a little urban sketching at Panera. By the way, I had the best ham sandwich I've ever had today at Panera, OMG. Let me tell you. Um, let me grab my, have my sketchbook here. Let me show you the sketch I did while I was having lunch. And I'm gonna grab this over here. Here we go. So if anybody wants to know what pen I'm using, it's, this is it, it's a Sharpie. Love Sharpie, you guys know I'm always talking about Sharpie. Um, it's called the S gel pen No smear no bleed technology black ink um, This glides on the paper I'll, I'll do a close-up here. I mean, I'm barely pushing down on the pen and the ink is coming out So it glides on like really nicely it's so cool So dang cool Hey, DB's in the house. DB, great to see you. So here's a sketch I did. I am, um, I'm gonna say nine times out of 10, I'm always carrying either my Lockerbie, this is my Lockerbie uh, small journal. I also have the bigger field journal. I tend to have the bigger field journal more, but I carry this with me today. Went to Michael's, I had a $5 coupon, and I bought two colored pencils. So we got chartreuse and Sunburst yellow, pretty fun. Uh, but the Sharpie at Staples. But here, here's kind of a fun little sketch I did today at Panera while I was sitting there having lunch. Um, so it's just, it's interior inside Panera. Um, so while I was eating, I was just kind of looking up and I might do another sketch tonight, guys, before I leave a quick sketch. I took a photograph inside the building and I'll just kind of show you what I'm thinking and how I approach these quick loose sketches but it was fun and then I popped in some of the colors and the colored pencils also I had some time this afternoon or th this morning well both and I was sitting outside Staples waiting around and I'm like you know what I am really bad at sketching cars so I figured I would just start sketching cars in the parking lot so they're pretty bad, but you know what? I kind of like the wonky style of them. Um, it was good practice. So I have really never sat down and sketched cars. So here I was sitting there just looking in the parking lot, sketching cars. Cars are not easy to draw. Holy cow. Buildings I have, no problem. Doing a car, there's something messing with my creative brain. It's like, I don't know what it is. I'm going to figure that problem out and come up with a solution. But I think they're kind of fun, loose and wonky. I really like this one down in the bottom. The proportions are kind of silly. Um, but it has my loose, sketchy style. So, uh, yeah. So don't be afraid to sit there and just sketch and do things you've never done before. You know, it's. I actually think it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll definitely practice more. And here's another sketch I did sitting outside. This car is, looks like Lightning, Lightning McQueen. Um, 
But I was outside, and you were sitting in the parking lot. Here's Michael's. I forget what store this is. I can't even read it. Harbor Freight. Michael's. So it's fun just to carry a sketchbook around and do these little scenes. Uh, this is a scene I did while I was at... Oh, my gosh. Church. Chorus. This was a chorus concert at church. So I usually have this this little book with me at concerts my wife is sings in the chorus and um, I'm just in the habit of I like to do sketches while I'm sitting there in the audience and here's just another sketch during the uh, chorus performance inside a church so really fun loose sketches in here a couple of bridge sketches um, so I just want to show that to you guys hopefully you think that's cool Let's see, Panera is my go-to place. Linda H. says, ooh, yeah, you know, let me just tell you. It was definitely, hands down, the best ham sandwich I've ever eaten. Good stuff. Hey, Panera, if you're watching, let me know. So maybe this, this I'm picturing as a, some kind of church building here, maybe. I like drawing these finials on the tops of the of the roof. It's called a finial, these points right here. Let's do another little finial here. Just gives a little more height to the building, a little more character. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but let's pull out the roof on this one here. Gonna make the roof a little bit wonky. Comes up into this kind of tower little towerish piece maybe this is actually a chimney um, imagine this to be some kind of a maybe a chimney cap here I haven't done any real wonky cottages in, in a long long time we got just kind of wonkifying this a little bit. Yeah, I said wonkify. By the way, has anybody seen the previews for the new Wonka movie coming out? I think it's called Wonka, if I remember. All right, cool. So under this overhang, I want to give some depth to it. Um, I'm just going to do some hatch lines. So. Just kind of drawing some vertical lines like that. And the re one of the reasons I like doing hatching like this is it's not a solid black area. So I'm not covering up the color underneath. I'm leaving some space so you can still see that watercolor underneath. And we'll do the same thing on this side here. Pretty cool. And I like this arch. Maybe this is a. Maybe this is a gate. Maybe this is a gate building into a hilltop village or a little Swiss village or something. So let's make this a gateway in here. We already have a cool arch. So let's just kind of sketch in. Maybe we have a metal gate here. Let me, know if, let me know if you guys are liking this sketch. This is pure imagination. I was talking about Wonka, right? Pure imagination. The best song ever in any of the Wonka movies. That's from the original movie. Let's just show me some kind of columns here. I'm gonna just hint at some structure. Mm, let's see. I'm going to put some more iron work across here. I could have got fancy and did some scroll work, but I didn't. And let's do some shadow under this gable rake. They call this the rake on a gable roof. Gable roof is like this right here. Gable roof is a pointed roof. Gable like Clark Gable. And this thing I'm drawing now is 
called a rake board, like a garden rake. Cool. Maybe we've got some metal work here. So I'm showing some kind of rivets maybe through here. Um, let's and let's do the roof on here as well. So I'm gonna I'm holding the pen really loose. I'm gonna zoom out, and I want the lines to be kind of wavy. I don't care if it skips a little bit. Just just adds character. Looks like an old roof. This could be either an old slate roof. Maybe it's an old wooden roof. And then we'll just kind of throw in some angled lines here, just to keep the uh, just to break down this into different pieces of roof area. Again, just by adding some line work, you can really pull out some details on there. Let's go to the chat. It's chat time. Hey, Jody's in the house. Jody says so beautiful. Hey, thanks, Jody. That's awesome. Great to see you. Um, bu -bu -bum. Linda, sorry, sorry I missed you last night. That's okay. It's all good. DB says, I think you did a great job on your cars. Thank you. Yes, my cars. Oh boy. Again, I don't sketch cars. I don't think I've ever, maybe once I've sketched a car, but it was fun just playing around. We got some wonky cars going on. Why not? Um, I can't recall not ever loving your artwork. DB, you are way too kind. I appreciate you. DB, I feel the same way about your artwork whenever I see it. Always great stuff. Again, I'm just showing some window openings here. I'm kind of liking this. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna to do too much more to this one to be honest with you. I'm just gonna leave this opening here. Just like that. Nice white space. It is missing. Well, can you guys tell me what what am I missing on here? Something I oh typically add on my sketches and I didn't add it on this one yet. Let's just add a little some more shadows for these overhangs. Give a little depth to it. I just feel like these gates had to be broken down a little bit more. So I'm just throwing in, just to give more scale, so I'm throwing in some more vertical lines on here. We'll just, just do some more horizontal as well. There we go. I'm liking that better now. That's better. Cool. Uh, Linda says, does that pen come into 0.5 or 0.3 fine point? So I think mine's 0.7. Let me look. Um, so this is a medium 0.7. So really good question. I don't have an answer. I would have to Google it. Um, I'm a big fan of 0.7 size pens. But yeah, I'm sorry I'd have to Google it. But this is a 0.7. Again, it's the Sharpie gel pen. It is rich. I mean, look at the color. It is just so, the black is just so rich. Uh, just, actually, here's a really cool thing I want to point out. Um, I don't take the time to do pencil sketches before I sketch or paint. Um, I just go for it. And one of the reasons I do that is because I actually love seeing, you can see some horizontal lines on here really light. Some vertical lines, you can see some other lines. I love seeing all of those layers because for me it's kind of a blueprint of how this was constructed. You can, it's my thought process, you know, I was sketching some lines here and I did this. You can see this roof edge originally came here. I'm like, no, let me make it wonky and I curved it. Um, for me, it tells a story of the creation of the sketch. So, um, I don't, you'll see a lot of that in my work. You won't ever, ever, you probably won't ever see me erase anything off. Um, 
So it's just another way of keeping, for me, the loose style, the wonkiness. Cool. We're following, we're following you as you wonkify your sketch. Thank you, D-Ray. I really love the colors. Yeah, these colors came out cool. I'll show you the palette. So here's the palette. I don't know the names of the colors, to be honest with you. Um, not all of them. Most of them I don't know. Um, so I use some of this yellow. Again, I don't know the name of the yellow. It's, it's the Windsor Newton yellow that came in this palette. Uh, this was turquoise. This was actually cheap from Cheap Joe's. This turquoise here. Um, I think I threw in some blue. Ultramarine blue, I think that is. Orange. Those are the colors I use. Yeah, right from the palette. Sorry if that wasn't helpful, but yeah. I just kind of go with went with it. Um, that you do wonky cars are great. Hey, thanks, Karen. Hey, Jethro, good to see you. How, how are you? Weather vane. Ooh, yeah, we could do a weather vane up here somewhere. That'd be cool. Let's do like a little weather vane thing here. Just show like a, you mean arrow. Maybe, cool idea. So we got some kind of weather vane up there. Good to see you. Pink, yeah, Linda, I didn't throw pink in. Exactly. So let's grab some, uh, I got it right here, some pink. We'll walk it up a little bit more, or just pop things out. Big old rooster crowing in the wind. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave the roosters to, to roo. You don't want to see my roosters, trust me. Um, but I love the idea. Uh, Linda's laughing, LOL, all right. Let's throw some pink on and we'll maybe do another sketch. We're just going to pop it in in a few places. Again, this is just kind of a signature signature thing I like to do. Usually I'll just throw it in like three places. Kind of want my, the eye, me the eye to travel up this way. So maybe we'll kind of throw one in here. A little touch of that pink. And then we'll do one maybe just like right here it's a little spot of it so there you go we got some of my pink on there this is neon pink prismacolor i love prismacolor premier water not watercolor it's just a regular color pencil not a watercolor pencil awesome Guys, I think this one's done. I don't really want to do any more. I think less is more on this sketch. Um, there you go. That one's finished. All my paintings have a touch of Payne's Gray. <laughs> yes, TB. DB is our trademark Payne's Gray person. Love it. Um, let me see. It's 9 o'clock, 9.01. Let me throw out another quick sketch and we'll wrap up. Hope you guys like this one. Take it off. By the way, this paper is, uh, this is Fabriano 1264 watercolor paper. And it is eight inches by eight inches, eight by eight. So it's a nice square format. Pretty cool. Uh, what do we want to do? I'm not gonna work on this one. So this is one I started a couple nights ago. I'm not going to work on this one tonight. This is Yupo paper. It's like plastic. But I'm not feeling Yupo-y tonight. So I'm going to put it to the side. I usually have more than one thing going at a time. Because I like to jump around. Depending on my mood. This is cool. This could be a cool um, storybook sketch. I'm gonna add it. I have a section. I have a collection of like storybook things I think would be cool in a storybook. I think this could fit in there. Let's put it over here. Maybe we'll just do a quick sketch in my little journal here. Um, let's see. So this is pretty small. This is. Three and a half by mm, about five and a half. So three and a half by five and a half. 
And I'm really liking this Sharpie gel pen, so we're, let's sketch with this. I'm going to pull up and look at a picture I took out in Panera today and do a real quick sketch of it. Let me see if I can grab that. So here's, a, here's the Panera sketch. I'll show you. Um, there we go. So here's kind of, here's the Panera. Just a picture inside. Fairly new building. Pretty cool interior, very interesting seating. So I'm just gonna do a little sketch of this quickly. But I think, hmm. So I'm gonna leave it on screen, the picture. I don't know if I can because it's really small. Let me guys, let me guys, let my guys, I can't talk. Let me know, guys, if this picture is too small. You know, I'm actually just going to close it because it's, it's distracting me. All right, cool. Let's do a sketch. Hey, Jason. Good to see you, Jason. Hope all's well. By the way, I'm not being biased. Wink, wink. But I think Jason has the best name of everybody in the chat. I don't know why I think that. All right, let's do a quick sketch. I'm not going to talk for a couple minutes. I'm just going to sketch. I'm talking way too much. All right, cool. And let's, I'm gonna just use the colors I have here. We'll just color in some walls. So this is just a quick uh, interior kind of perspective. And one of the things that's helping to generate the feel of a perspective or depth is I sketched in these ceiling tile areas here. If you look down here, the tiles are closer as I come up. I space those ceiling tiles further apart so it just gives a sense of depth going back on there. Um, this is a wall on the side and another way to help generate the idea of perspective or depth is there's some um, stonework or tile work here and I just sketch these lines kind of going back at perspective angle just to give the idea that this is going back and have, giving some depth there. This is glass here. 
some kind of big windows. Um, you have some kind of big windows over here as well. So on these sketches, I sometimes like to just color the windows in black. Uh, I'm going to pop this piece out. These are not the colors in reality, but I just want to pop some items here out just to make them read a little bit. This is, I think, a big exhaust hood. And then we have some, kind of a greenish wall thing happening back in here. Right, so just popping colors on here and there, just helping to give a little bit of interest to this black and white. And you, you can pull out certain details or elements you, you feel are fun or exciting or you feel are important. Just throw some color on there. And there's no, the ceiling tiles are white, but I'm just going to outline it here with that chartreuse color just to give it a little more interest. Boom. I, lo I do love sketching with color pencils. All right, so hopefully you get just a sense of some kind of depth happening there. Um, very nice sketch. All my paintings have touch paint. Oh yeah, we love it. Awesome. Would look great framed. No, yeah, this this would look awesome framed here. Right, this is really cool. This came out nice. I agree with you. No, LOL. Must be a newer Panera. It is new. Yeah, this. Um, I actually asked. The um, I think she was the manager there today, um, and she said they had opened it back in I think December. She said, so it is very new. And then this is actually in the foreground, way way in front. There is a fireplace. Yep, there's a cool gas fireplace in here, and this is really in the foreground. I'm just gonna hit the lines hard here with the Sharpie, I just wanted to pop, pop it out. And it's just kind of acts as an edge to the image, kind of a frame on the side. Um, and this has this really, these really cool tiles on here. I would definitely go back here and just hang out and do some sketching, really cool vibe. Let's change the music up a little bit. I just got a little funky with the music. Who doesn't like funky music? Should he do it? Should he? Should I break out? I just I just talked about myself in third person. Really weird. Should I break out the pink? Let's do it. Let's just put it on the fireplace to see what happens. You guys know my main motive, my main intention, always underlining when I'm creating artwork, sketching, is to have fun and be playful. There you go. I kind of like it. Again, this is really, really quick. If I was to take my time for a good 20 minutes, I could really pull out some of these things, but I'm actually digging it. See what I did there? I got funky music, I'm talking funky now. There's some lights. Let's just show. We should have left that. I should not have added that. I should have stopped when I was ahead. Um, DRS is enjoying this. That's cool. I hope you like this quick loose sketch. Again, here's the one I did sitting in there today. This was fun. There's really cool lighting up here. I could uh, pop these out with some color, maybe. Um, this is a really good example of just as an architect trying to do a quick loose sketches to talk about ideas with clients. Not accurate, just concepts. You know, we have this fireplace here. We have big windows in the background. 
There's a frame, maybe a wall with a picture hanging there. Another wall with an accent wall over here with tile. So it's just a quick way to, to have a conversation. Hey, you guys are awesome. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and um, we'll wrap up. You like this music? I like it. It was like one I did at the airport and when I was at the airport in April. There's a tavern or something in the background, so I just kind of sketched it. These were uh, seating areas and tables, seats and tables. Back here is a sign that said Ves Vesper Tavern. I think it's called. And here's another one. Sketch this inside the airport. There's a big column, round column. Again, you can see the ceiling grid in here. So ceiling grids are a really cool way to get, capture the idea of a perspective. Yeah, or you could do the same thing with floors and floor tiles. Right, if I flip this upside down, it becomes floor tiles. Here's my quick looking out the window, looking at the airplane. Uh, here is someone sleeping across from me, or a backpack. I don't even know what the heck that is. 10.38, something at 10.38 a.m. Alrighty then. All right, guys, there we go. I think that's gonna be a wrap. Let me know if you do have any final questions or thoughts. And then um, this brings back here. So the main goal tonight was just to come on and kind of wrap up this one. And mission accomplished. Yes. So cool. D-Ray says wrapping up. D-Ray, it's so great to have you back in the chat. Thank you so much. Hey guys, um, I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much. It's always fun being here sketching live with you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for helping me grow YouTube to over 400 viewers. That is so cool. Boom. Uh, thank you for Facebook, man. Facebook has been growing. Um, more and more people are starting to watch this, which is cool. So words getting out there, which I love, love, love. Um, it's just fun to be able to put positive vibes out there. Just doing this fun stuff. If that's how I can contribute to the world in a positive way, I'm sold. Um, Cameron says, have a great evening. Cameron, you have a great evening. Thank you for watching. Linda says, thank you. Glad I caught you. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate you watching as well. Hey, Jason was in the house. Jason, keep creating awesome things. It was great seeing you. And we had Jethro popping in and Karen. You guys are, are so awesome. DB. Oof. Am I missing anybody? Jody had popped in for a little bit. If I missed you, I'm so sorry. But thank you, guys. Keep paying it forward posit with positivity. Wait, keep paying it forward using creativity for positivity. Something like that. And um, yeah, take care guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll be back on soon again doing some live loose color, loose style architectural coloring, inking, drawing, sketching. This is not rehearsed, not scripted. Maybe it should be. Let me know in the comments. Take care, guys. This is fun. Peace and live creatively. See you soon. Hey, I see a heart in chat. Thank you for the heart. Thank God. Three thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Hey, feel free to share this out with peeps if you want on Facebook, YouTube. I would love that. If you're on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe to this if you're enjoying it. I appreciate it and share it. Um, I would love to get to. I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube by end of October. Can I do it? Can we do it guys? Can we get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube by the end of October? That's the new, that's the new goal. Take care. Peace out. Jason says, this is nice. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. It is not rehearsed. No, no cue cards. The only cue cards I have are, um, I have like, these aren't even cue cards. These are notes I wrote. I came in 
Oh yeah, I was trying to find a... Oh yeah, it's creating a framework. Right, you can see, I'm, now I'm, now I'm uh, going down a different path. Linda says, I did. Thank you, Linda, for uh, subscribing on YouTube. I appreciate that so much and liking it. That's great. Guys, it's so much fun. I don't want to leave, but I got to take care.